If you have played the new map, The Shattered Square, you have probably realized that there are a lot of pallets. So much so that a lot of players have come to the conclusion that the map itself must be bugged and spawning in every possible pallet. But if you actually go in and test it and count the pallets, there are a total of 25 on the map. For reference, that is exactly equal to the game, which also spawns 25 pallets and is often considered to be the most pallet dense map in Dead by Daylight. However, this gets more interesting because Midwitch, which statistically is the best map in the game for Killer, has 24 pallets plus 8 breakable walls, whereas Fractured Cowshed, the worst killer map in the game statistically, has only between 13 to 16 pallet spawns. So what exactly is the real issue here? Well, the answer is a few different things, but to be honest, it's all kind of simplistic. Let's start with talking about the value of a pallet. A pallet is only as strong as the loop it's connected to. The same applies to a god pallet, which is a pallet the killer has to break in order to continue a chase. A god pallet without a connected window is generally a pretty short delay. Midwitch has one god pallet, whereas the game has over a dozen. But again, those pallets don't really chain into any windows or loops. They are a finite resource that gets used and cannot be used again. Now, if you look at Fractured Cowshed, even with half the available pallets, it's still much harder for the killer to win just because of how strong the map is with connected windows and survivor-sided loops. Now, another aspect of all of this is line of sight and gen visibility. With line of sight, we're mostly talking about how open a map is, how easy it is for the survivors to keep track of the killer. Midwitch and the game both have bad lines of sight, so it's pretty difficult for survivors to know where to position and where the killer is unless they remember to activate their ESP or brought fogwise, same difference. With really open maps, they can see the killer 10 years in advance and either hide or shift W. Now with gen spawns, if you look again at Midwitch or the game, the gens are somewhat hidden and the survivors need to spend at least some time searching for them. With maps like Fractured Cowshed, the devs literally attached light poles to the gens to make sure survivors don't waste even a second looking for a generator, so the survivor efficiency improves quite drastically. Where all of this is pointing is that the new map, the Shattered Square, is essentially the jack of all suffering when it comes to unbalanced design. Unless the pallet spawns are actually bugged, but if they're not bugged, you have a map with an ocean of pallets, very valuable pallets for that matter, a map that has very open lines of sight which makes it nearly impossible to get close to survivors, plus it has very visible generators with of course light poles attached to them because why not? Now I want to be clear, map design is not easy in DPD. There are 30 killers in the game now, trying to create a map where all 30 of those killers play well is significantly more difficult than a lot of people make it out to be. That said, we have gotten a string of just terribly balanced maps, and it doesn't seem like behavior is even learning anything from their recent mistakes. The only real solution to this is letting the community create our own maps. So basically put a map editor in the game, we all create our own private maps, then through sharing and maybe content creation, the really well thought out, balanced, community loved maps will naturally be showcased to the point where not only they can be added to the official matchmaking, but it gives us a better precedent on what really makes a map good in DBD. It doesn't even really have to be the most in-depth map editor either, but with behavior working on Meet Your Maker, a new game basically entirely designed around community built content, I don't think it's out of the question to ask for something like this to be implemented into DBD. That's really the only solution I have though. If you guys have a better solution, let me know. As of right now, my personal favorite three maps in DBD are Hawkins, even though it doesn't really exist anymore, Midwitch, and probably Wrecker's Yard. I'm sure everyone will have different biases when it comes to their favorite maps. Let me know what yours are, and as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.